show which I hardly recognize anymore. I don't know. I don't know if I like it, to be honest with you. I, it's, it's too big. It's, 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 too, it's too big. Don't you think it's too it's big? It's too much. Too it's, much. Too, it's too much. Yeah. And I, I mean, I, I agree with you, people who are already writing emails and tweets about how much you hate the new studio. <laughs> You know you, I know you hate it because it's change and change is awful. I understand. You think I like it? You think I like that they changed the chairs? I don't like that they've changed the chairs. Look at these chairs. They're light colored. A lot of our guests are older. Can't don't, see the chair, man. Yeah, what? You can't see the chair. No, it's not that they, what do you mean I they can't, can't see, are there chairs? Yeah, you, you, what the hell's going on over there? <laughs> I don't understand what you're saying. Just, I'm so I used far to know away. you, and now look at you, and there's a rhino behind you waiting. Look, a rhino. The hell? By the way, uh, can I just say before you start writing the other letters about how we killed a rhino? <laughs> not a real rhino. Not, never was a rhino. It's uh, made entirely of um, kittens. <laughs> Look, look, look. It's a joke, man. It's not. This, they're not. It's not made of kittens. Actually, I was walking through here on my own, and it was kind of dark. I was just kind of checking it out for the first time, and I heard a ghostly kind of. <laughs> it's not true. Not true. Are you all right? No. Oh, Is I'm that great. a new podium? Yeah, I think. Uh, I think not. <laughs> I just oh, never is, saw it? it before. And the fire, do you, is the heat from that fire, do you feel that taste oh, in your butt? Oh, that fake fire is really warm. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's not, it's not a fake fire, it's a, it's a real fire. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you come over here and warm yourself by my fire? <laughs> <coughs> what time is it, Jeffrey Pearson? It's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from a man who once partied naked at the Man I'd Lay Bay in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> Why is Caesar's penis better than Sex Caliber? Tweet me and email me, would you, and tell me why Caesar's penis is better than Sex Caliber? <laughs> Play the jingle. Twitter is the thing with all the beats. You and your friends did just the I have to say, I have to say, I, you know, the studio, although it has changed, it's kind of still the same, really, isn't it? Kind of. <laughs> I guess it's not. No. Well, one thing I do like about it, there's a lot more wood. Do you know what I think is, you know what I think is, is lovely? Is that there's a, a door to the open meadow out there. You can see Secretary. <laughs> Just standing there. Yeah. Yep. Just, sta just standing there waiting in case, in case something happens. Secretary, it looks like a serial killer. <laughs> 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 All right, this is from uh, Felicia in Park City, Utah. You ever been? Uh, oh, love it there. You ever been to Park City? Oh Utah? yeah, love it there. Yeah. What love do you do when you go to Park City? Swimming and throw beads, get fully nude. <laughs> <laughs> to go to the Sundance Film Festival, that's at Park City, Utah. Sure. Yeah, love it there. Uh, do you do you also like it in Park City? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Still crap. Um, <laughs> Hello, Craig, uh, and Jeff, I'm sure. I, well, actually, it doesn't say it's to you, so you know what? Forget it. Uh, <laughs> this is uh, from Margaret in Summerlin, Nevada. You ever been, uh, you ever been to Nevada? Holy Las Vegas, Lord. for example? Oh. Ever been to Caesar's penis? <laughs> 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 oh, oh, the greatest joke ever by an appliance? Caesar's penis? Like, sex caliber isn't a great joke. No, no, Craig. Your witty use of the word X and sex is nothing compared to just saying penis. <laughs> Hmm. 
Yeah? Well, I'm not the one who stayed at the flaming O. <laughs> All right, thanks. Uh... <laughs> the hell? <laughs> I don't know. I think it's because it's a bigger studio, they let more hobos in, more... <laughs> and what happens is, the, the hobos that they let in, they've lowered the standard. So now the hobos that we get are sometimes unruly. <laughs> Dear Craig and Jeff, I'm driving uh, in from Las Vegas to see your show next week. What should I do to pass the time on the freeway? Oh, I'd, I'd, uh, I'd practice some self-massage. <laughs> When you get to Vegas, I recommend you stay at Caesar's Penis. Thank you. Look, look, don't applaud it. <laughs> this is from uh, Marge in Dubuque, Iowa. It says, uh, hi, Gre uh, Greg. Greg? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you know a Greg? I've known a few Gregs in my day. Yeah? I don't know any Gregs. I like uh, this picture of Marge, though. I don't know if you can tell she's, uh, she's an ostrich. <laughs> now, here's the thing about your ostrich. Uh, more people are, the ostriches are very vicious, and more people are killed by ostriches than are killed by crocodiles every year. Did, no, did you know that? It, it's, no, it's not true. <laughs> but it would be if ostriches had their way. <laughs> right, Jeff? Yeah, that sounds like a, like a book or a movie. If ostriches had their way? Yeah. Who'd, who'd be in the movie if also just had their way? Julia Roberts would be in it. She'd be like a woman who was learning to love again after her husband was tragically killed by an ostrich. Yeah, yeah. And Steven Seagal would be in it as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He, Steven Seagal would be in it. He'd be the zookeeper who kind of is a bit grumpy but knows kung fu. Yeah. Let these ostriches have their way. That kind of a thing. Wait a minute, you just learned to do Steven Seagal, so you worked it into our scenario? <laughs> yeah, you did. Oh. Yeah, you did. Oh, yeah. Maybe, maybe. I <laughs> Who's that at the door? Really want to do it, but the damn horse was staring at me, staring at me. <laughs> like I didn't really want. I didn't think oh, I don't want to bring secretary, but the horse is like, <laughs> kind of like, and you can, and you can hear the horse thinking. You can hear secretary thinking, put the lotion on the bus. <laughs> put the lotion in the basket. <laughs> All right. Um, Right, well, I think that's it for now. Uh, you anything else you want to add? Yeah, Caesar's penis in the voice of Steven Seagal, something like that? When you're in Vegas, stay at Caesar's penis. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody.